Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using C programming language. The program must accept two strings str1 and str2 as input and it must print 1 in uppercase if uppercase alphabets in str1 matches the uppercase alphabets of str2 in same order of occurrence else the program must print 0 as our output the program must accept two strings str1 and str2 and it must print 1 if uppercase alphabets in str1 matches the uppercase alphabets in str2 in same order of occurrence else the program must print 0 as our output now let us test for our test case in this uh, test case we are having str1 and str2 so per case upper one let it be upper one which is the uppercase alphabets of str1 here the uppercase this is str1 and str2 so variables uh, should not start with a capital letter so i will change it to small so upper one in str1 the uppercase alphabets are a e and f so a e f next upper 2 in str2 the uppercase alphabets are a e f so upper 1 and upper 2 are same so 1 will be printed as our output Now let us check for our second test case. This is the str1 and this is the str2. The upper one alphabets are uppercase alphabets in str1 are L. E and T so L E T and the uppercase alphabets in str2 are E and L so upper 1 and upper 2 are not equal so 0 will be printed as our output Now let us check for our third test case. In this test case, uh, this is the str1 and this is the str2. The uppercase alphabets in str1 are numbers so n u m b e r s so upper one will be numbers and in str2 uh, sorry b here also the uppercase alphabets are numbers so upper one and upper two are same so one will be printed 
as our output. We have to implement custom compare function in C which accepts both the strings and should return one if the condition satisfies else else it must return zero now let us implement our program using C programming language this is the main function here we are having two str arrays of size 101 so we are getting the two strings and printing the output using custom compare function returning value will be printed so this is the custom compare function which accepts two character arrays str1 and str2 first let us declare two arrays to store our uppercase alphabets so care of upper one of size 101 comma upper 2 of size 101 these two arrays will store the uppercase alphabets of the strings now next let us declare the index so int of int 1 equal to 0 comma int 2 equal to 0 these are the index now let us iterate over the strings and store the uppercase alphabet so we have to use for loop for int index equal to 0 index less than str len of str1 index plus plus we have to check whether if current care is uppercase means we have to append it by using is upper function in C so upper one of index plus plus index one plus plus which is equal to str one of index We are iterating over the for loop if current care is uppercase means we have to append it to the upper one array by using is upper function in C. Now after appending it to the upper one we have to change the last value as null so upper one of upper one of index one end one which is equal to null this will store the uppercase alphabets in str1 so upper one will be containing the uppercase alphabets similarly we should do for the str2 so let us copy and paste here str len of str2 and current care is uppercase means we have to append it to the upper 2 array index 2 plus plus str2 of index and finally we have to add null to the upper 2 array so upper 2 of end 2 equal to null now we have to compare the two arrays upper one and upper two so we can use uh, an inbuilt function called strcmp it is nothing but it compares the string 
and if the strings are same means it will return 0 if both the strings are same or equal else it will return 1 or minus 1 it will compare both the strings if they are equal means it will return 0 else 1 or minus 1 so return strcmp of upper 1 comma upper 2 this will return 0 if both the strings are same so but in our output we need 1 so let us put equal to equal to 0 if it returns a 0 and it is equal to 0 means it will return 1 this function will return 1